uh, first perform the calculation 12 divided by 3 times 2. Often when students perform a calculation like this, they think that they need to do the multiplication first. That kind of makes sense, I guess, because when you see PEMDAS, you see that the M comes before the D, the multiplication comes before the division. But what this PEMDAS doesn't show you is that you actually need to perform the multiplication division in left to right order. you got to remember that left to right order. So if division comes first, you actually need to do the division first. So I often see students perform this calculation by performing 3 times 2 first, so they'll rewrite it as 12 divided by 6 and get an answer of 2, but that's wrong. Instead, we need to perform it left to right And so we have 12 divided by 3 first, which is 4, and then we take the 4 times 2, and we get 8. Another thing to remember is that your calculator is automatically programmed to use PEMDAS correctly. So if you want to perform 12 divided by 3 times 2 on the calculator, you would type 12 divided by 3 times 2, and it says 8 just as we just calculated. All right, the second problem I'm going to show is 3 plus 5 quantity squared. Now often I see students want to apply that square inside. That is, they want to say that this is equal to 3 squared plus 5 squared, which is 9 plus 25 which is 34, but none of that is correct. Now remember, according to PEMDAS, the very first thing you need to do is parentheses. But what does that mean to do parentheses? It means you need to actually calculate inside the parentheses first. So the very first thing I need to do is actually calculate 3 plus 5 to get 8. So what's inside the parentheses is actually 8, and that is being squared. And so 3 plus 5 quantity squared is actually 64, and that's the correct way to perform the calculation. Again, in the calculator, if I just type the 3 plus 5 quantity squared inside parentheses, as we had seen it, we get 64. Again, similar kind of error I often see. Students see that we have a fraction being squared minus another fraction being squared, but when they apply that exponent to this, I often see they only apply the exponent to the top. So the wrong way I see students accidentally do this is by saying that this is 3 squared over 4 minus 1 cubed over 2 writing this as 9 fourths minus 1 half, getting a common denominator. So it's 9 fourths minus 2 fourths. And students say then, hey, it's 7 fourths. But none of that is correct. This is not correct because these exponents are applied to the entire fraction. So when I say the quantity 3 fourths squared, it means 3 fourths times 3 fourths which is the 3 is squared and the 4 is squared. Similarly, 1 half cubed is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. So the 1 is being cubed and the 2 is being cubed. You need to apply those exponents to the numerator and the denominator. So it's 3 squared over 4 squared minus 1 cubed over 2 cubed which is 9 over 16 minus 1 over 8. Again, getting a common denominator. We have 9 over 16 minus 2 over 16, which is 7 over 16. And that's the correct way. Again, 3 fourths quantity squared. I put the 3 fourths in parentheses minus 1 half quantity cubed, put the 1 half in parentheses, 
press enter, and then I do a math, enter, enter, to turn it to a fraction, and we get 7 sixteenths as we thought. Lastly, another very common error I see students make is that when they're calculating a fraction like this, they think that you can just cancel the fives. So 9 minus 5 divided by 7 minus 5, students think, oh, well, there's 5 over 5, I'll just cancel that, and so it's 9 sevenths. No, 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 no. The reason canceling works in a fraction is because you have factored it out of the numerator and factored it out of the denominator, making it something divided by itself equals 1. But that didn't happen here. There was no factoring out of the numerator, factoring out of the denominator. Instead, you should always calculate the entire numerator. So 9 minus 5 is 4. Calculate the entire denominator. 7 minus 5 is 2 and 4 divided by 2, then do the, finally do the calculation at the end. 4 divided by 2 is 2. As another example, if I had had 6 minus 2 over 8 minus 4, I can't over here just cancel the 2 over 4 and write 1 half. But I could factor a 2 out of the numerator, writing 3 minus 1, factor a 2 out of the denominator, writing 4 minus 2, and now this is different. Notice here the 2 factored out of the numerator, the 2 factored out of the denominator, and now it does cancel, leaving this to be 3 minus 1 over 4 minus 2, which is 2 over 2, or just 1. If I had not done any of that factoring, I could have just taken 6 minus 2 is 4, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 over 4 is 1. So in that situation, since I factored out of the numerator and factored out of the denominator, it was OK to cancel the 2 over 2. But in the first calculation we did, there was no factoring the 5 out. You can't just cancel the 5. If you're going to cancel something, it has to appear in the entire numerator and the entire denominator.